I'm Nikita, an operations engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an RFC using the AWS Managed Services command line interface. I'll also be showing you how to get the CT schema for the RFC. For this tutorial, we'll be raising an RFC via the AMS CLI for creating a single Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud stack. Let's get started. At the AWS Managed Services documentation page, navigate to the CLI section. From here, you can download the CLI zip folder. Follow the README file inside it to install the AMS CLI. Now that you've installed the AMS CLI, let's get on with creating the RFC. There are two methods to achieve this, template create and inline create. Inline create uses a single command. This method is especially good for simple requests. Template create uses two JSON files that you modify as needed. This method is good for complex requests and for keeping a library of JSON files that you can reuse. We'll be following the template create method. First, we'll get the CTID for this type of RFC as well as its latest version. On the terminal, use the following command to search for CTs that contain EC2 in the item name. Note the CT ID for creating the EC2 stack. Get the most recent version of this change type with the CT ID that you just noted. You need this version number for creating the RFC template later. Copy the following command to get the CT schema for this change type. You can use this command to get the CT schema for any change type, provided you know the CT ID. The template is saved to a file named createStackParams.json in your current folder. Open this file and then modify the schema as required. As you can see, this file contains all the parameters needed for creating an EC2 instance, such as the instance type, security groups, and tags. Save this file after you make these changes. Let's get the template for RFC creation. Enter the create RFC command with the generate CLI skeleton option to achieve this. The template is saved to a file named createRFC.json in your current folder. Open the file and edit the template to meet your requirements. This file is where you specify the type of RFC you want to create using the CT ID and the latest version that you noted earlier. You can also get notified via email as and when the RFC status changes. To get notified, add the recipient email IDs under the notification parameter. Because you created a separate file for the execution parameters, make sure to remove the execution parameters line from the file and then save the changes. Now, to create the RFC, specify both the file names using the following command. Specify the full file path if the file is not in your current folder. If you're using the inline create method that I mentioned earlier, you can replace the file names with the entire content of the files, which achieves the same result. You get an RFC ID as a response. Save this RFC ID because you'll use it in the final step. Submit the RFC with the RFC ID you recorded previously. This can take a while to complete. To check the status of the RFC, enter in the following command. And now you know how to create an RFC using the AMS command line interface. You also know how to get the CT schema for a change type. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.